In this video we're going to talk about what I like to call the open source workflow. This is the way that most open source projects work if you want to contribute to them. Let's say you wanted to contribute to an open source WordPress plugin, like this really stupid plugin I have here. So in this video we're just going to walk through how that process works. If you wanted to contribute to an open source plugin, it's probably because you found a bug or you want to add a new feature. And almost in all cases, you should always talk with the maintainer of the plugin or the package that you want to contribute to before you start writing code. Because you don't know if someone else is working on it right now, or you don't know if they want to actually add the feature that you want to add, or if maybe it's not really a bug, it's just something you did wrong or didn't understand about the plugin. So you should always start by going to the Issues tab and create an issue and of course, if you found a security bug, you shouldn't make an issue in a public GitHub repository. You should contact the maintainer somehow. But you go here and you create an issue and then you can discuss the bug or the feature that you want to add with the maintainers of the repository. And as soon as they tell you that they think it's a good idea and they would love for you to work on it a bit, what you do is that you fork the repository. And a fork is basically, as it says here, fork your own copy of WP Pusher cool plugin to your account. So it gives you a copy of the repository in your own GitHub account and that means that you have a copy that you have a right access to and that you can commit to and as soon as you made a few commits you can then make a pull request to get that change merged into the real version of the plugin. Okay now it's forked. That's all it took. So now you can see I have my own version of the plugin, Peter Zoom dash cool plugin fork from WP Pusher cool plugin. In order to add some code here, I need to clone the code to my own machine. And the way I'm going to do that, we already saw that in the earlier video. So I'm going to copy the address of the repository. And then I'm going to run git clone. And I'm going to put it in a directory called cool plugin Peter. And now I can cd into that uh, directory. And you can see here that I have all of the files here, including the .gitignore file. And now let's just really quickly add a change to the cool plugin. Add another change from the fork. OK. And we want to make a feature branch as always when we add a new feature. So we check out a new branch and we call it awesome PR. And then we add and commit. Added this really cool thing. And we push it to origin. And we are going to push it to the awesome PR. We want to push the awesome PR branch to a new branch in GitHub with the same name. And if we go back here, you can see that GitHub already realized that we pushed that and we want to make a pull request. So let's use the compare and pull button here. And you can see that GitHub is clever enough to realize that we want the base fork to not be the Peter Zoom slash cool plugin repository, but the actual WP Pusher cool plugin repository. You can see here, I could choose the Peter Zoom version if I just wanted to keep my, and maintain my own fork, but in this case, we want to get it merged into the actual plugin. And the head fork is going to be my version here, which is the forked version. And the branch we're going to compare is the awesome PR branch. And I'm just going to capitalize this because I have OCD or something. And here we can see the diff. So let's create the pull request. And now we're back on the WP Pusher cool plugin uh, repository. And if we go to pull request, we can see that there is this pull request. And here you can see that Peter Zoom wants to merge one commit into WP Pusher master from Peter Zoom awesome PR 
and what did he change he added this one line looks good so let's just merge this added this really cool thing confirm merge and we can safely delete the branch and we take a look at the commits you can see that we merged the pull request and here's the actual commit added this really cool thing and that's the thing that we added from our own fork and it's now available here on the WP Pusher uh, original version of the repository and this is the open source workflow and that's how most open source projects work so if you want to commit to someone else's project this is probably how you're gonna go about it and that's all for this video, so thanks for watching.